a lot of chefs, you know, like the, their dream is always to open their own restaurant. And, and for me, uh, I can't say I've, I've ever had that dream, you know, and uh, I've cooked for a long time and, and uh, explored a lot of different types of cuisine and kept learning as much as I could. Mm -hmm. And at some point I, I figured out that I didn't really want to learn anything else except for the food I'm doing. Uh, so that's when I thought it would be a good idea to explore a little bit more about Malaysia mm -hmm. and give something back to the community. And I think with my experience of opening Longtail and, and other restaurants, um, I kind of had that in, in the back of my brain. So, so it kind of came together. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And I started to get more excited about it. But definitely it wasn't something that, you know, since I was a kid or since I started cooking, I was yeah. like, oh, I want to have my own place or whatever. Right. So. so that passion just kind of grew on you. You're like, yeah, wow. Absolutely. it's, And then now you just want to have your own creative outlet yes, yeah. to actually bring that cuisine. Yeah, and, and I thought it would just... It, it's not... I think at this point of my life, it's, it's not even all about the cooking of course it's it's great to showcase something creative and, mm -hmm. and and your own story and stuff like that but it really is about giving back to the industry as mm. well and um, when we hire cooks and, and sous chefs and stuff like that to give them the opportunity to grow and learn something different and, yeah. and and i hope as well that they'll be just as successful right just try to be ourselves you know and and that's what it is we try to keep a small menu i know some people expect something larger and some people might compare us to other Malaysian restaurants like yeah. Banana Leaf and, and so forth that have an extensive menu. Mm -hmm. um, but what we try to do is the same idea of the name Potluck. It's, it's really a coming together of different Southeast Asian um, cuisines. Yeah. And it's not just focused on Malaysia. It's, it's inspired by my mom's cooking. But I mean, I have cooks from the Philippines, from Burma and in Vietnam and all sorts of places. Yeah. Uh, so it's really bringing all those flavors together right. and keeping everything fresh. Like we keep a short menu, we change it frequently. We're not afraid to take something that's popular off the menu so we can put something else on, right? right. Um, and there's always gonna be demand for certain items to stay, yeah. but uh, we keep continually trying to push ourselves. That's why I try to teach all the cooks as well to also have a input on the menu as well, because right. that's how we all grow together, right? Mm -hmm. Like I, I know so many, you know, chefs that they have like a secret recipe that they don't share, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. To me, that's just holding yourself back, you know? The moment you stop and you say like, what's made me successful is this one dish, that's when you stop growing yourself. Ah, so always innovating. You know what, not a lot of people can actually keep innovating. You know, it's, it's tiring. It's, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of R&D and it's a lot of money Absolutely. spent and time spent on it. Yeah. You know, the challenge is actually holding back because, really, you, you know, as you can see, like, you know, we have a small kitchen, yes. small restaurant, very little fridge space, mm. very little freezer space. So uh, in, in some ways, that's to our advantage because we've got to keep things fresh. We've got to prep day by day right. and whatever we use, we sell out. Right. right. So the branding and, 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 you know, all these little bottles and the, they're so colorful and they're yeah. naturally part of the design. Right. Yeah. But naturally. They're part of what we use day, day in, day out, right? Yeah. So for people to see that, and a lot of it could be nostalgic moments mm -hmm. for people, you know? Yes. Like, oh, like I used to use this at home and stuff like that. That's exactly what we were, yeah, we were but, talking about yeah. too. Yeah. But like, you can oh, never have a shortage that. of, of uh, storage space, right? Yes, so, yes. So for us to be able to use, utilize the wall and, and the pony wall and stuff like that, mm -hmm. and still showcase it to customers is, is great. And I think at some point, you know, we can, you know, have some products for sale as well so that yeah. people can try to make the food at home themselves.